Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing furs, dazzling diamond jewelry, a girl can't complain. I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't charge me. Darlings, welcome back. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the World Bar at 849, 45 United Nations Plaza, right here in the Trump Towers. And I am here with Reality Star. Fabulous Reality Star. Mr. Kapanis, attorney at law for Millionaire Matchmaker. He runs with Patty Sanger, right? I don't know if I run with her, but uh, I was on the show with her, yes. Uh, once? No, you were on the show a couple of times, right? Once, but they show Only it a million one. times. Oh my God, so they show it like every other day. Yeah, my husband nonstop. Says, Isn't that guy, the guy you interviewed, the one that's taking his shirt off? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> that was me. I try not to do that in a business setting, though. In the business setting, you usually have a suit and tie. Suit and tie. You're a very, very important lawyer. Yes. Very important divorce attorney. Yes. Right here on Long Island and in Manhattan. And in Manhattan. How many years have you been practicing law? Uh, almost 10 now. You know? Almost 10 years. Yeah. I'm old. You know, I love it. Love oh, you're not that old. I'm older than you. How do you know how old I am? What are you, 16? You, sh you know how to make a girl so, feel you know, good. I'm ready, uh, you know, I've done celebrities in the past, can't talk about them, but now I'm, you know, ready for more. I like the high profile cases. I don't blame you. I, they're fascinating, I you, right? right? Now, what do you think about this Camille and this Kelsey? What's going on with that? I think uh, the last I heard was that he offered 30 million, she wants 50, and he wants to get remarried. Just split the middle, 40, 40 million. What, you can't live off 40 million? Well, there's a no prenuptial agreement. No, no prenup, and there's no prenup for the new bride either. Now, let me ask you, is that crazy? I mean, I think it is. You as a lawyer, anyone that has, tell my audience, anyone that has a certain amount of money, what, yeah. give us some advice, if, if, a little free legal advice. T tell yeah. my audience, anybody that has a, over a certain amount of money should have a prenuptial agreement. How much yeah. would you say over? I would say if your net worth is five million or over. You know, anything under that, it doesn't really make that big of a deal. But five million or over, get a prenup. Why doesn't it matter? Let's say you have like two million. Why wouldn't it matter? It, it just depends because a lot of, uh, in New York at least, if you have the, uh, the assets before marriage, you're going to classify those as separate property, not marital property. What a lot of people set up prenups for is to take care of like spousal support in case they get divorced and the wife or the husband quits their job and just lives with the, you know, wealthy spouse, the celebrity spouse, and that's what you want to, like, you don't want to have it where, um, you know, someone can take you for everything or ask for an exorbitant amount. You sort of want to cap your losses. It's not a good way to look at marriage, but when you're in that stratosphere of income, you have to. But Kelsey will just do a Frasier reunion and get paid, so he'll, he'll make more money. He'll make more money, absolutely. He's not, he's not going to be living on the street anytime soon. I didn't realize how rich he was. I can't believe how rich that man he that, is. He did Cheers and Frasier for 20 years. I know, I know, but I still. He's making like two million an episode. I mean, but still, I never knew he was that wealthy. I really never, I can't believe. Right? And you're, you're, there now you he's go. On Broadway making whatever. He's never had, I don't think he needs to worry about a prenup. 
He's got so much money, his great grandkids can't spend it. So why bother? I guess yeah, he just wants to do his thing and get married to this new wife. He I think he's nuts. I think I think he's nuts, honestly, to get yeah. married again. I mean, but From one to the other. What do I know? I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of feel a little bad for Camille. I mean, I interviewed her at a charity event. I interviewed all the housewives. Oh, okay. Yeah, she. You know, but it's marriage. It's how it goes. Hers happened to play out in the public forum which you never want to do because it's such a private matter and emotional. But, you know, she did, and their attorneys, I'm sure, you know, know what they're doing, and they're so trying to get the best no, for nothing over five, anything over five million. I, I think, you know, that's, that's sort of like a roundabout cutoff. You know, some people that don't have much and they want to protect what they do have, yeah, do it, but, you know, uh, cost benefit, if you, if you have over five million, do it. If you're in like that three to four million, if you want, but it, you're not, you're not, you can still work it out in the courts beforehand. The, bi the big thing is the spousal support to try and work out ahead of time. That if you're married X number of years, you'll get this much, that much. Because in those high incomes, you could, you could ask for the sun, the moon, and the stars. And they do, darling. They, they do. do. Ask for everything and hope you settle for half. Crazy. It's absolutely it's crazy. It's insane. Insane. Tell my audience, what's your next gonna, gig going to be after this? After this tonight, uh, I think I'm going to be on Fox in about a week or two, uh, but I don't know the topic yet. They don't tell you in advance. I'll be watching. And then I'm going to work on my book ideas. And talk to Mr. Cohen, Andy. That's up to you. You'll be my agent. Uh, uh, tell him you want to do a reality show about lawyers. I'm ready. I'm ready, willing, and able. Let's do it. I'll put you on. Yeah. All you gotta do is talk to that Patty too. She'll get you on. She'll we'll help see. you out. Yeah, we'll see. She'll help you out. She, she can put them together and I'll divorce them. There you go. What a great show. Tell my audience the website for them to go to to find out more information about. The website, go to ManhattanDivorceLawFirm.com. Or Capanis Law, too. Or CapanisLaw.com. Mr. Douglas Capanis, attorney at law. Let's have a glass of champagne. Let's have a glass. Here? This is for you. Okay. We're going to toast. Let me give you some champagne. Let's toast. To you. To marriage. And divorce. And divorce. <laughs> I don't want to miss up my makeup. Mwah. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews coming up. Keep watching right here at the World Bar, located at 845 United Nations Plaza. Big champagne kisses. time. Be good to yourself and the environment. We can make a difference. Hello, darlings. Welcome back. It's Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, and we're having cocktails at the World Bar, located at 845 United Nations Plaza. And I'm here with the celebrity realtor, Ms. Christian Thomas. Yes. Kristen wow. Thomas. Kristen Thomas. Kristen, tell my audience um, how you found out about this event today. 
Well, I've recently become good friends with uh, Gloria Kressler of Elite Professional Networking Group. And we've teamed up and uh, we're bringing our people, she's bringing her people. And uh, it's been it's a great opportunity to really uh, you know, meet, meet everybody that's coming tonight. Now you've been in real estate for how many years? About eight or nine years. Uh, I started out investing. Um, our firm recently opened up a new office in Soho. Uh, down on Green Street, we're Thomas and Ingram, and we do uh, high-end residential and commercial real estate. Tell my audience, what's going on with real estate? Is so uh, Soho still like the happening scene where everybody wants to move and buy a loft and just, you know, live there? I mean, is that like the, 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 the next place where people want to live? We love Soho. I mean, we're very happy there, and I think Soho is always going to be a fabulous area to live and shop. Uh, we do real estate all over the city. And, What's uh, up and coming right now, though? What, where do people want to live in New York right now? I think Soho, absolutely. Um, Soho, Tribeca are still very hot areas. Uh, the West Village and, of course, Upper East Side uh, will always be a hot spot. But uh, we have a lot of faith that the market's truly stabilizing, and our office has been very busy. And uh, yeah, we think New York City will always be a, you know, a fabulous place to, to live and buy. And oh, absolutely. Keep it going. What about that Wall Street area? I noticed that that area is becoming very, very residential lately. Yeah, that's, very, that's a very good point. Uh, you know, five years ago, nobody wanted to live down there, but now it's becoming a new hot spot to live. You can get some fabulous prices and uh, some beautiful spaces. Really? Yeah, absolutely. We're doing a lot of business How down there. Audience? Some of the prices are down there in Wall Street area. Are they? Can you get like a three? bedroom apartment for how much let's say yeah I mean you can get you can get uh, one two three bedroom lofts now for just over uh, over a million dollars um, you'll find prices better down there than you know when you go uptown a little bit uh, to the Soho Tribeca area so you see a lot of people heading downtown audience where they can go to find out more information about your realtor real estate office yeah, and all about all the properties that you do sell thank you so much we have a, a great website www.thomasandingram.com Com. And uh, what's, what's great about our website, you, you can actually search every single listed property in New York City uh, on our website. So it's a great place to go to really search the entire market. And of course, we can uh, assist buyers with uh, any property on our website. Fantastic. Do you have a Facebook page too? We do have a Facebook page. And uh, one thing you know, that we're, we're doing that's a little different than the average real estate company, uh, we're hosting events like art shows and educational seminars and charity foundation events um, in our gallery loft style office. We do this throughout the year and we invite the neighborhood into our office and it's a great way you know, for us to get to know our neighbors and uh, to get people in you know, to, to meet us. Tell my audience about your next event. Um, our next event uh, is on March 16th, and we're hosting it uh, with Elite Professional Networking Group uh, in a fabulous 5,000 square foot loft just below Union Square, Union Square Studios, uh, and it's going to be just fabulous. Uh, I heard about it. You did. Are you going to be there? Yes, I, I will be so. there. Excellent. We'll be there, and uh, you know, I hope that uh, we have a great turnout. But Sounds fabulous. Fabulous. Let's tell us. Tell my audience one more time the website. www.thomasandingram.com. Uh, we're Thomas and Ingram Real Estate. We're a luxury boutique firm that just opened up shop in Soho, and we hope for you to come in, uh, and see our office and, and meet our agents. So let's toast. All right. Cornelia, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank Please you very much. Hello, too. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews coming up right here at the Trump Bar, located at 845 United Nations Plaza. Pink champagne kisses. Fancy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. It's been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.